the boss, QTG, and Jennifer, the machine, Jordan, the Olympian. It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. Big time tag team match oh. underway here. Guys, the tag wow. team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. Harsh impact. This is where all it takes is one move and your opponent can gain the upper hand. That could be a game changer. Sweat a bit. She's going to need to find a way to mount an offense here. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. Her opponent clearly wants to prove a point tonight. And you know what? Going for the big one. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown tag team champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlike. No! She breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Beautiful technique. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team title reign to the resume and enjoy the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown tag team champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The two out of three falls match is how the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double count out. 
When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing creates separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have Maybe the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Oh man, she's rolling now. Ouch. Gets the tag. Whoa! Oh, cross body. Oh, I think we're gonna get the tag. Oh, she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Big mistake there, Corey. Oh, she knows that now. She is on fire. Yikes. Oh, nasty impact. And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. Oh, man, she's rolling now. And stomping away in the corner. Oh, come on! How can this be legal? This could lead to a disqualification, quick. Well, that's one way to surprise an opponent. Oh, man, what a hit. Locked right off the apron. Back in from the floor. Escapes trouble there. Oh, what impact. Boom! <laughs> Ooh. She's calling for it. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. Oh. Neck breaker! Uh-oh. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. She's humming like a well-oiled machine. We're looking at complete domination here. <laughs> Nailed it. She might have it. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. She's too quick for her. Fisherman suplex classic. What a stomp. Good grief. She's looking at it. Here we go. This might be it. Oh, my. I knew it was only a matter of time. Ah, uh, yes, and she's feeling it now, guys. When she gets in attack mode, look out. She might have it. There it is. It's locked in. Smart maneuver. 
That should do it. Look out. That can break bones, guys. on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up a win like that. Says a lot about a duo. Corey, this team's on fire. I mean, I don't know how you stop them. I don't know if you can. They're firing on all cylinders. And the WWE fans absolutely love them. I mean, they're so much fun to watch. You don't have to like them, but you got to respect them. These two get it done inside the ring.